In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Elementor to hide different things on your web page. So if you've got mobile and you've got desktop, different ways that you can design a page for each type of device. So your page might look different on a computer screen versus how it would look on a cell phone. Now, if there are certain things that won't look correct on a cell phone, the same as they do on desktop computers, well, then you can hide those elements on mobile so they don't look all funky and messed up. Instead, you can create custom sections that only show up on mobile and they get hidden on desktop and vice versa. Ones that only show up on desktop and then they get hidden on mobile. So to do that, all we are is in one of our pages. This is just a template I installed to a blank page, so I haven't customized text or anything yet. But just to show you how, is, how easy this is, let's just look at these um, kind of close up images. So they've got like the main food image here and then they've got some text over here. So this is how it would look if we push this arrow away. This is how it looks on desktop when someone's scrolling on the food website. So if we wanna get rid of this little image right here, maybe it won't look as good if we have it on a mobile phone. Maybe the mobile phone just needs this image and then it'll put text down here underneath as you're scrolling down the phone screen. So it won't look right having two images like this overlaying. So we're gonna hide this image on mobile. So to do that, we'll just come back here into our Elementor settings. Now what you wanna do is you wanna click on the element that you're trying to hide. So in this case, I can see as I hover over this image I've got this little pencil box here. So this is the edit image. So we'll just click on that and that'll make sure we're editing the image. So over here it says edit image and then we can see these different tabs. So we want to go to the advanced tab here and then we're going to scroll down and find the one that says responsive. So when we click on responsive, you're going to see three options. You can hide it on desktop, you can hide it on tablet, and you can hide it on mobile. So in this case, we will check the one that says hide on mobile. Once that's turned on and we click update, now this image no longer will show up on mobile. Now, if you wanna test how it would look on mobile, you can do that down here with responsive mode. We can just click on that. It's gonna bring this little menu bar up here to the top of our screen now, so we can see we're currently on desktop view. Next, we can go to tablet and mobile view. So if we go here to mobile, we can see now this is grayed out. It's still showing where it would have been if it was turned on, but since we've hidden it, it shows us it's grayed out. So if I just turn this back off, now that image shows back up there again. So again, this is a great tool if you're trying to customize certain sections for certain devices. So mobile lays out the page differently. It normally stacks elements on top of each other. So in this case, the image that was showing on the left side of the desktop page is now stacked on top of the text with the text falling underneath of it. And as you scroll down, you can see how it just stacks all these elements one after the other because the screen is not very wide. Whereas when we go back to uh, the desktop view, you can see everything gets side by side again rather than stacked on top of each other. So that is where it comes in that you may need to hide and create custom sections, custom elements specific to mobile and other ones specific to desktop or tablet. And then you can come in here and just hide certain ones that aren't supposed to show on mobile so you can duplicate things so for example i could duplicate this whole section so i have two of them on the page but again we can use these controls to hide one of them on mobile and hide one of them on desktop which i've done before so that i can have two separate sections showing up on two separate platforms and they don't you know double show up where you see both of them on desktop or both of them on mobile so again, it's simple, just go into any element, whether it's a section or a column or the element itself. So if we even click on the little column button here, we can always go into advanced and there's always gonna be this responsive tab. So now I can hide the entire column, not just this text element or this text element, we can hide the whole column. That'll hide everything here within the column itself. Same with sections, we can click on edit section, we can go to the advanced tab, find the responsive tab, and here's where we can hide this entire section. So it'll get rid of the images and the text because that's all within the same section. So all you gotta do is check how it looks first in responsive mode down here toggle back and forth between tablet mode, mobile mode, and desktop mode, uh, and that's gonna give you an idea of how your web design looks before you start changing visibility, which is where you can hide things by toggling these tabs to turn things on and off for different platforms.